It's time for school, and these children are going for the very first time. You can watch as they make new friends, learn, discover and play. The children go to two very different schools. One is in a big city, and the other in a country village near the sea. Today we're going to the school in the big city. Are you ready? It's time for school. It's the beginning of a new term. And for Lucy, it's time for school for the very first time. Who do you think is bringing her to school? It's her dad. Is it exciting? <laughs> How exciting is it? Really exciting. Really exciting. Here comes Olivia. It's her first day too. New friends today. Meet your new teacher. The children wait at the school entrance. When the bell rings, school begins. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Welcome to school. That's Miss Mills, the teacher. She's ready to help the children settle in. She'll make sure Lucy and the other children know what to do. Oh, good morning. You'll be all right. Come on in. That's a good girl. I think she'll have lots of fun things for the children to do on their first day. Find your pet. Come and find your pets. Look for your name. That's Ollie. Where do you think he'll hang his coat? Oh, Olivia, don't worry. You're going to have a lovely day. Come on, then. Which one's yours? Number 10. The coat pegs have names on them. Lucy finds her peg. Yeah. Do you want to come and find your peg and put your things on your peg? And the pegs aren't just for coats. Look, Jack has hung up his bag. Come on. No. What are these children playing with? Oh, it's a train. At the back as well. Oh, it fell over. I think it's too big, Liz. Should we have two trains? One big one still. Go on then. Olivia's made a ladybird. Isn't it lovely? Oh, wow, is this your ladybird? Tell me about your ladybird. It's got spots. How, How many, many spots has it got, Olivia? One, two, three, four, five. How many? Six, Six spots. spots. Wow, that's brilliant. Oh, now it's time for the mummies and daddies to leave. Oh. Casey gives mummy a big kiss goodbye. See you later. Can you show me how you cut? Well done, Lucy. You don't need Miss Mills helping, do you? Oh, that's very good cutting skills. Well done. <laughs> what are you making? I'm making some trousers. Ooh, who are they for? Daddy. Oh, Daddy will love trousers. He'll need a pair of those. Children? In a minute, I'm going to ring a special bell. And when you hear the special bell, I want you all to stop what you're doing and show me two empty hands. Are you all able to do that? Yeah. All right, you listen out then for that special bell. Wow, what have Callum, Toby and Jack found? Oh, a castle. Stop. 
Show me your two empty hands. And wiggle your fingers. That's it. Now you've stopped. You need to find your space. What oh, colour is that big rug? Green. OK, are you all looking? This is my friend, Sitting Spider. Do you want to give him a wave? Hello, Sitting Spider. Now, Sitting Spider likes to make sure that you are all doing good sitting. Hey, Sitting Spider. Are you happy with the way the children are sitting? Oh, he said yes! Well done, children. Now, children, it's your first day in a brand new class. Children, how are you feeling? Good. Good. Some children haven't got any friends yet. Put your hand up if you haven't found a friend yet. Not yet. Not yet. You haven't found a friend yet. No, no. Well, do you know what? It's okay. Because you're going to find a friend later. And you know, smiling is a great way to make a new friend. Children, turn to somebody new who you don't know and just give them a smile. If you smile at somebody, they might be your friend. It's time to play outside. That's it. Wow! Who is Lucy going to play with? We're big girls now, so we can do this on our own, can't we? Look, Olivia and Sophie have made friends. <laughs> oh, Mummy and Dad will be after lunch, won't they? Um, my daddy's picking me up. Lucy has found a trike. Careful, Callum. He's giving Heidi a helpful push. Lucy's made her first new friend. She's sharing the trike with Luciana. <laughs> Did you hear that? OK. Well done, right, everybody now. We're going inside, because it's dinner time. Come on. I'm going in first. Hey, I'm going in first. Chips or some garlic bread? Lunch time. Looks like something hot and tasty for Lucy. Ouch! The beans are too hot. Hello, children. Would you like me to come and sit with you at dinner time? Look what I've got in my lunchbox. Cherries. I think the beans have cooled down, don't you? We've got everything now, aren't we? Another new friend for Lucy, Olivia. Uh, a beef burger sandwich. Bye bye. After lunch, playtime. The children go outside and Lucy starts playing with Callum. Do you know what Luciana and Ruby are playing on? Up, down, up, down. It's a seesaw. It's blue for you girls, blue for you girls, blue for you girls, and some blue for you girls. This is now we have for jam for me and here for you. There's Jack. He's playing with Lucy and Olivia. Put your hand up if you have made a new friend today. I am. I am. Wow, look at all those hands. Lucy, who's your friend? Olivia. I am. Olivia, is she your friend, Lucy? Oh, Olivia, who's your friend? Lucy. Isn't that lovely? Have you been playing together? 
great. Oh, big hugs for everybody. That's lovely. Group hug. And Callum's joining in too. Very nice. What a lot of new friends the children have made on their first day at school. And Lucy has a new best friend, Olivia. It's time for school to finish for the day and for the children to go home. Go to your mummy and daddy. Oh, you don't want to go home? I mean, come back tomorrow. Want to come back tomorrow? <laughs> Look who's here for you! This is my Lucy! Mummy, this is my Lucy! Yes. Hello, Daddy! Hello, Chicky! Oh. Have you had a lovely day? Ding, ding, ding! School bell rings! Time for school! It's raining at Mere Green School today. Where Toby should hang his coat? He does. It's Jacob's first day, so he's not sure where to put his coat. Jacob missed the first two days of term. He's hoping to make some new friends today. Jacob, do you think that's yours? If you hang your coat up. This one? Over front. That's it. Ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Do more soon. Do you put your socks and your wellies just in case? Oh, you're too heavy for that. And look, Lily Mae's playing with the other kids. You're going to show Have a good day. <laughs> Some of the children already have new friends. <laughs> like Toby and Luciana. Do you think Jacob will find a friend? found something in the corner. This is Miss Mills, the class teacher. Oh, who's your friend, Jacob? He's elevator. Oh, is he al alligator? Yes. I've got an alligator too. Look, he's got a poorly tail. Ollie, look, it's Alfred, alligator, he's with poorly tail. What do we have to do to look after him? Give him to the toy doctor. That'd be good. This could be the doctor. Okay. Do you want to play with that other alligator? Jacob, it's a special day for you today, isn't it? Because it's your first day at school, isn't it? You only started today. Did you know that? Have you met Jacob before? Jacob, this is Amelie. because Jacob didn't see this yesterday. She said, I am shocked. <gasps> Jacob, can you show me your shocked face? <gasps> uh -oh. <gasps> ah, that means it's time to stop playing. Show me your hands. Good boy, Jacob. Well done. Come and sit on the carpet. Are you sitting on the carpet, on the carpet, listening to Miss Mills? Thank you very much. Now, children, this morning when I woke up, yeah. I looked out of my window and I was expecting to see bright sunshine, just like we've had every single day so far. And I was Shocked. Can you show me that shocked face? <gasps> Children, I was shocked this morning. Why were you shocked? Because I looked out of the window. And it was raining. Yeah, the weather had changed. It wasn't sunshine, bright sunshine anymore. It was raining. It was raining. Look, children. Rainy. Rainy. Okay, so. Every day, Miss Mills shows the children the class calendar. The weather is rainy. Okay, look. 
today is Friday. The weather is rainy. Now today is a very special day for Jacob because he has joined us. Do you want to come in the front? Do you remember how you all felt on your first day of school? How were you? A good girl, Evie, a little bit nervous. Well, I think Jacob might be feeling like that today. Are you feeling like that? Uh, a little bit. Yep, yeah, Jacob was a little a bit nervous. Bit. <laughs> yeah, but children, what happened to you on your first day of school? What did you all make? We made a new friend. Okay, so we all made a new friend. Now, is there anybody here who would like to be Jacob's new friend? Put your hand up if you'd like to be friends with Jacob today. Everyone wants to be Jacob's new friend. Even though it's raining, the children are still going outside to play. Everybody needs waterproof coats and waterproof trousers. Trousers! Take off your shoes. I'm the other one, Jacob. Go and get your waterproof trousers. Can you see what they're putting on? Waterproof clothes. Good boy, Jacob. Doing really well. And wellies. There's lots to choose from. What colour has Sophie chosen? Pink. Look at these wellies. They've got bows. These are Amelie's. Aren't they nice? Nice wellies. We need wellies, don't we? Yeah. Why do we need those? Because you need to splash in the water. Yes, and what would happen if we didn't have wellies? You get wet. You get wet feet. You get wet feet. Are we ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Have we got waterproof coats on? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Check. Check. Have you all got waterproof trousers on? Yeah. 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 Right. Have you all put your hoods up? Yeah. Oh, you have Jacob. Good boy. Yeah, I have. You have Toby. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. What better game than splashing in puddles? <laughs> Jacob is enjoying it, even if he is getting a little wet. That's Sophie with a bucket. And we'll go inside. I think Toby and his friends have enjoyed playing outside on a rainy day, don't you? You can have one. Oh, look, there's more water to play with inside. Oh dear, maybe Toby should have kept his raincoat on. Toby's got wet! Toby's got wet! Okay, Toby, go into the toilets and dry yourself. The bell means it's almost time to go home. Toby, why do you come I wonder here? if it's still raining outside. Sit down, Jack. Right, children, do you know, when I looked outside, I didn't think it was raining anymore, did you? It stopped raining, and now it's dry. Yes! 
Yeah, yeah it stopped raining, Toby. Yeah. Yeah. Right, come on, off we go. Right, put your coats on, please. Look, here are the mummies and daddies. Right, Dylan, Danielle, Jack. Where's your umbrella? That's it, Callum. You run to mummy. That's it. I think Toby's ready to go home. And so is Jacob. Wow! What a reaction! <laughs> yeah, he's had a lovely day. Fantastic. Have you, you. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, he yeah. has. <laughs> See you on Monday, Jacob. Bye bye. What a wet and wonderful first day at school for Jacob. This is Jacob arriving at his big school in the city. And here comes Ruby. It's time for school to begin. Hi, Jim. Morning, Jacob. Say hello. That's Miss Mills. She's Jacob's and Ruby's class teacher. Right, guys, now, children, we've got something exciting happening today, but I'm not telling you any of you what it is. It's a surprise. So something exciting is going to happen today, but I'm not telling you what it is. You'll have to wait and see. A surprise? What do you think it'll be? The children have lots to do before right. they'll find out. Here we go, guys. We're going to paint red on one hand and then yellow on the other hand. Then we're going to mix them together to make a new colour and we're going to put handprints to make fire. One hand red and one yellow, so you start with the yellow. What colour paint is Dylan using? Yellow! Ah, that's nice. Sophie is helping Lily May. Can you do it for me? Lucy's paint is... what is it? Bright red. Need a bit more. I'm finished. Right, let's do your yellow hand now. It's quite tricky. <laughs> Could get very messy. Loose, let me help you, lovey. So I don't want you to get into a mess. Mix them together, make a new colour. What's your new colour? Yeah. Have another look. Look, Lucy's mixed them. What's your new colour? What is it? Orange. Orange! Lucy's made orange. orange. Now you can do some orange fire. Then put the flames going up. Oh, yeah. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. How are we doing? Now. Look at her. You got one here. Orange. You mix it all up now. Give it a good mix now. What colour have you got? <gasps> this has changed! Oh wow! Jack's hands have turned orange too. Orange. Orange. <laughs> Press down really hard. Fancy press down those hands. Wow, look at that fire. That's gorgeous, Luce. Let's put some more on. Flames going up. Then a bit more up, and then up. It's burning Do brightly. Yellow, boys. Jack. Children, look at her burning fire. Is burning it? fire. Quick, call the fire brigade. Nina, Nina. Time to clean up. Oh dear, Ruby's hands are so slippery she can't turn on the tap. Hooray! She's done it. Now she can wash her hands. Yeah. 
It's nearly time for the big surprise. But first, the children are going to sing. Mr Watts, the music teacher, is going to teach them a song all about fire. London's burning, London's burning. Fetch the engine, fetch the engine. Fire, 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 fire. Pour on water, pour on water. Can we try it again? Yeah. I'll go first. London's burning, London's burning. London's burning, London's burning. Fetch the engine, fetch the engine. Fetch the engine, fetch the engine. Fire, 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 fire. Your turn. Fire, fire. Pour on water, pour on water. Pour on water, pour on water. Now, did you know How about some music? Give it to Wellie, come on. Yeah. Okay. One, two. London's burning, London's burning. Jack. He is a firefighter. It's still not time for the big surprise. Miss Mills is going to read the children a story about firefighters. Could that be a clue? Jack drives and puts on the siren. Nina! Put your hands up if you've heard a real fire engine going past. It makes a big noise, doesn't it? Can you imagine how exciting it would be to climb onto a fire engine? Oh, I wish we could do something like that. That would be so exciting, wouldn't it? I don't know. Hooray! Time for the big surprise. Do you think it's going to be something exciting? Yeah. to the fire engine. Yeah! <laughs> Jacob is so excited! Yeah! Are you excited about that? Yeah! Aren't they kind? They are so kind. Amelie climbs into the front of the fire engine. Whoa. I'm going to be a superhero! <laughs> Why not try on a real firefighter's helmet, Jacob? How about that? Keep still, because it's probably going to fall off. Look, now Toby plays at being a firefighter too. Yeah, has it all gone dark? <laughs> Is that good? I think you'll be a firefighter now, won't you? Put the torch on as well. There you go. Look, Ollie noticed that mirror. Can you see yourself? <laughs> yeah! The siren needs to be loud so everybody will hear it. That was the baby noise. Look, the children are helping firefighter Neil roll out the water hose. <laughs> the water. I can't it. You don't want to see it. And again. Who 
Who wants to squirt it? Jacob is first to use the water hose. The children have fun with the fire engine and they discover the firefighter's real job is putting out fires. Come on then, put that building out, that building's on fire. It's a fire out. What a long hose! And what a lot of winding to tidy it away. It's time to say goodbye. Everyone has had a great day with the firefighters. Bye, guys. Especially Jacob. It's time for school, and these children are going for the very first time. They'll make new friends, learn, discover, and play. The children go to two very different schools. One is in a big city, and the other in a country village near the sea. Today, we're going to the school in the big city. Are you ready? It's time for school. At Mere Green School, everyone is outside learning and playing together. Look. Toby is riding the trike. And there are Evie and Maisie skipping. Luciana and Jacob have found some water to play with. This is their teacher, Miss Mills. She's found something colourful to take outside. But what can it be? Should we make the water red? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But I'm going I to have the metal turn. spoon. I didn't have a turn. Look how the paint mixes in and turns the water red. Even more fun to play with. That's it, and I'll put some in as well. Mm -hmm. Good night. Look who's come to share the fun. There's Tom. And here comes Toby. What are you doing? I'm trying to get some water. Everyone join in together. Nice idea, Tom. Not in this swab. <laughs> no! Ooh. I've made red paint. I've made my own red paint. <laughs> uh oh, Luciana is flicking the paint. Oops, it splashed all over Tom. This isn't going too well.
So you flicked it, but it accidentally hit her. All right, so it was an accident. No, it was. It was on purpose. How do you know? And Jacob didn't want the boards, and she just flipped them on me. What did I do? All right. Do you know what? I don't know what happened because I wasn't there. So can I just ask you to make friends? Would you make friends? So who who wants to say sorry first? Me. Sorry. Right. right, you say sorry, sorry. now. Right, are you going to shake hands? Hang on. Shake hands. Right, are you friends now? I right. know. You go and play nicely the together. Hairs look the same. <laughs> you both got curly hair. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daisy and I'm yeah. Mia. Hey, hey, well, that's a great reason to be friends. Hey, you can make hair. Oh, my oh, my God. God. That's better. Friends again. And there's still time to play. Oh, what's this? Julian has found a river. It goes all the way across the playground. Look at the children making a game of it. They're standing with their feet on either side of the river. Do you think they'll get wet? Oh, watch your feet, Luciana. I wonder where the river goes. Let's follow it. Toby's found the end. In the mud. There's still more time to play outside. And the mums and dads have come to join in. What are they going to do with all those clothes? I'm not going to the bottom. We've got a big coat. Oh, that is big. We can, we can zip that up and stuff it, can't we? And the straw. Take that to mummy. What's Lucy making? Do you know? I'll put a knot in the bottom of the trousers. Hey, babe. That's a start, isn't it? Careful, Amelie. That looks heavy. This is the messy bit. They're stuffing the clothes with straw. I wonder why. Lucy, that's too big. Oh, <laughs> I think I know what they're making. Why do you think everyone's tying up the trousers? <laughs> Lily, May and her dad are busy. <laughs> Have you guessed what they're making? <laughs> Scarecrows! Breathe in, Mr Scarecrow. There's Toby and his dad. Go on then, glue, you glue him on the back there. Oh, oh careful you don't get too sticky. They're working with Lucy and well her done. dad. We're going to make the scarecrow's head with the tights. Ah, decorating. The fun bit. <laughs> What's Phoenix making? You ready? Got them. Stick it Patches for the trousers. And very nice too. How am I meant to stick it on? It's gay. Buttons? Why would Toby need buttons? Which buttons shall we use? These ones. Those big ones. So if I draw a mouth on. Oh, that's that's brilliant. She wants a bit of hair. Where yeah. well, the eye's going to go now? Which one? Yeah. Where's your eye going to go, Luke? Ah, for eyes. Oh, that's good. He's a good looking scarecrow. <laughs> Can someone put some glue on that for me? I know what that shape is for. Right then, Do you? Ready? Yeah. Can you press it down so it sticks yeah. nice? It's a mouth. Go on then, up you go. Stick it on. <laughs> Amazing. Which way should we put his boot and boots? Face another way. This lucky scarecrow gets Wellington boots to keep his straw feet dry. 
Pick him up. Pick him up. Oh, turn it round. Oh, let's tie him up. Tie him on. Is he still smiling? The scarecrows look great, and they're nearly finished. You just got to put a little bit of straw in there so it sticks out. There you go. Add a hat and even some hair. And then you hold his hat like that. We're going to go lift you up and we'll try and put it on the stake. You might need some help. Can you put it on? Uh, that's it, let's go and have a look at him. And look, a scarecrow. smiling scarecrow. He actually looks okay. quite happy, doesn't he? There we go. Down then. Well done. All the scarecrows look completely different. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> well done, Lucy. Good work, Toby. Brilliant. Everyone has done a great well job. Done, everybody. If you all give us a smile, you look fabulous. Wow, what brilliant scarecrow. looking scarecrows. Right, everybody, give us a big smile and say cheese. Thank you. Lovely. Thanks for helping, mums and dads. I wonder what's happening at Mia Green School this morning. Miss Mills' reception class is going out into the playground. Right, come on, everybody, out we go to play. Oh, they've spotted something. Look, in the tree. What? Julian, Mrs. Cartman. Can you see what it is? I don't believe what's happened. Look, we've got a cat stuck in the tree. It's a toy cat. Miss Mills is pretending it's real. I can hear it mewing. I can hear it going meow, meow. Children, what are we going to do about that cat stuck up the tree? It's a real cat. Call the fireman. Call the fireman. Yeah. Do you think we could do anything else? If we Be careful climbing the ladder, Mrs. Cartmel. She's got the cat. Well done. Oh, no, can I see him? Oh, the toy cat has a poorly paw. like to carry him in sensibly. Right, you have to be so sensible tomorrow. Wait a sec, where will I carry him too? Yeah. Yeah. Don't just... Right, let's carefully, carefully take him in now. Right, come on guys, we're going in now. Right, come on. Nice and gentle with the patient, Amara. I think we need to send this cat to a real vet. If I send this cat to the vet today, perhaps the vet might bring the cat back all better. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. Should we give this cat a name? Because we don't have a name for this cat. Zoe. 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 Yeah. So the cat's going to be a girl. Oh, Zoe. This cat is called Zoe now. What a lovely name. I'm going to go to the office and get them to phone the vet now. Right, say bye bye to Zoe. Bye. I hope Zoe gets better soon. See you soon then. Okay. Where's she taking us, do you think? Look, here's a real dog in the school playground. Is she walking us or are we walking her? This is Cleo and she belongs to Mrs. Cardinal. Come on, Cleo, this way. Come on, this way. Cleo's very nice. She's very inquisitive because she hasn't been here before. 
So all these smells that she doesn't know, she's just trying to work out where she is and what the smells are. What is it, Clee? Yeah. Oh, should we take her into the orchard? Yeah. Yeah. She's having a good old sniff, isn't she? Yeah. Where are we, Cleo? Can you see what, what's happening to her tail, children? She's wagging it. She's wagging her tail, look. Why? Oh, she's happy. I think she's getting used to it here now. So let's swap to Sophie now. Now she's quite strong. Okay, so just gently pull her back if she pulls too hard, okay? Keep up, Sophie. Cleo is full of energy. <laughs> oh, she's sniffing the plums. Look, she's thinking, hmm, is there anything to eat here? Leo looks like she'll never stop running. <laughs> wow, children, look who I brought with me. This is Mr. Gardner. Hello, everybody. Hello. He's a real vet. And he's come to tell you all about being a vet. And I've also brought your, your little friend that you found yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Well, I believe you've called Zoe, is that right? Yeah! Hooray! Yeah. Right. Zoe well, is do. back. Down here. Now, I'm sure you're all a bit worried about Zoe because you found her up a tree yesterday, is that right? Yeah! Yeah, but she was a bit frightened and a bit worried, wasn't she? Yeah. So what's happened, we'll just take her into the box. As you can see, she's, she's had a dressing put on her foot because she hurt her claws and got a splinter in her foot um, climbing up the tree yesterday. Yeah, then she's got bleeding on the yeah. foot. So what we had to do, we had to clean that up, yeah. clean all the blood off, yeah. and then we it's took the splinter nice. out of her foot. And then when you take that dressing off in a couple of days, everything should all be nice and healed up. If we pop her safely back in there... Uh -huh. Children, what do you say to Mr Gardner for healing our cat? Thank you. So let's have a little look at this. Do any of you know what this is? A stethoscope. Yeah. stethoscope. And do you know what it's for? It's to take a heartbeat. Yeah, absolutely. Through listening to this bit, you can hear things like a heartbeat. You can listen to them breathing. You can listen to all sorts of things. So if you say hello. Hello. A bit louder than that. Very loud. You do have to be very careful because it's quite loud when you listen to that. And I'm just going to show you some of the things that we used to have a little look at dogs and cats. Does anyone know what this is for? That's right. It's called an otoscope and it shines a light down there so we can have a look in their ears. So can you see the light coming out from there? And that allows me to have a look and see if she's got anything stuck down her ears. Quite a bit of wax down there, but. <laughs> That's fine. It's a toy cat. <laughs> no. Now, does anyone know what this might be for? Big scissors. They are a big pair of scissors, but they're a big scissors for a special job, and they're for taking bandages off. So I can slide the scissors underneath the bandage, and I can cut the bandage without cutting Zoe. In a couple of days' time, if you get your teachers to take her bandage off, her foot should be absolutely fine under there. Great news, Zoe is better. It looks like the children are going to play at being vets. They found plenty of toy animals to look after. Put it on head. Julian is showing Toby where the bandages go. Amelie's got a stethoscope. She's listening to the toy dog's heartbeat. Wow, a 
Hasn't Toby done well with the bandage? Look how busy Sophie is. I bet she's glad Lucy's come to help. Don't worry, Jack. Bet Sophie will take good care of your rabbit. What has Sophie found to put on? Do you think that's a vet's coat? Uh, Sophie, is that the right way round? Is it actually calling? That's better, Sophie. Now you can help Jack's bunny. What a lot of animals to see Vet Lucy. Keep on in here for me. What would you want? Keep on in here. Jack's bunny is bandaged up. Well done, vets. The toy animals are feeling much better now. <laughs>